Hey guys, welcome to the latest episode of Ireland's Atlantic Adventures. Today we're going to have a bit of a whopper of an episode. We are at the Cliffs of Moher. Well, we're at the Doolin Pier, so sorry, the sun is actually in my eyes and it's burning my retinas right now, but that's okay. So I brought a friend along with me, a fellow former podcast host of the Irish... Our Irish Photography Podcast. I got a bit tongue-tied there. Said it. I know, right? <laughs> Welcome to the Irish Photography Podcast. And his name is Darren J. Spoonie. So Hello, everybody. go check him out. I'll leave a link to his channel also up here. Is it up here? I never guess. It's, oh, up, it's, it's always up this way. Amateur. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to bring Darren along to uh, the Cliffs of Moher and Hag's Head and all that and give him a view of the Cliffs of Moher from sea level, which he has never done before. So we're going to jump on the GTX and... Uh, yeah, without further ado, let's rock on. Let's go. Never done this before, and I'm really excited actually to see what it looks like. So we'll get some footage along the way anyway. Hopefully, this German doesn't drive too crazy. Now, so we've launched the ski, bit of a slight bit of stress because of the uh, slippiness of the pier, and it's always kind of treacherous down there at Doolan Pier. But look, we're out in the ski now. Happy days, and we're in the water. So we're going to head uh, southwest, okay, down towards the. Uh, the singular sea stack shall we call it and hags head and uh, we're going to go in about all the caves depending on the swell so at the moment now the swell is about five to six feet and they're about 10 seconds apart so conditions are actually quite good they're not too bad we have been out and worse before all right you having fun so far darren i haven't been out and worse before but yeah i'm having a lot of fun <laughs> <laughs> so darren wants to go over to the waterfall just over there and uh just to please him I'll bring him over, since I'm such a good tour guide. Ah, woo! Having fun there? Yeah, man! <laughs> Now we're at what's called Aileen's Wave. Very, very popular for surfers that come along here. Uh, some of the waves are just insanely awesome, but very dangerous at the same time. So we're going to be very selective of what we can shoot right here, right now. And uh, we just have to keep uh, aware of our surroundings at 360 degrees at all freaking times. Because, yeah, we don't want to end up dying today, you know what I mean? Big one oh, jeez, look. What's brother? Left brake and run. Yeah, no, I'll no, tell you, there, look, left there. Right where that farm is. Oh, look at that. Oh, Keep it starting for out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, yeah, I gotta, gotta, gotta keep the camera for that. So what you saw there was a giant wave coming in <laughs> and about to actually cover us. That's the thing about the Wild Atlantic Way, it is wild, it is the Atlantic, and it has been where we are now is right at the base of the Cliffs of Moher. So uh, to the right hand side is the stack and over here actually, as we showed you, is a pathway called the Goat's Path. And this guy is known for 
going down this path to get some photographs of the impressive cliffs of Moher right from the water's edge. It's in really, really tall cliffs. I've never been down this low and yeah, my God, it is impressive. It is large and I can see, you know, the vastness and the size of it. It's quite dangerous as well because I don't know if you can make it out or not, but right at the top of this up here, you can just make out some shapes of people and that's so close to the edge that people will get. Uh, every so often, unfortunately, somebody falls. So it has been a place where it's claimed a number of people's lives over the years. It's a big tourist destination in Ireland. So you can imagine why they'd come here, but people don't really exercise safety as much as they should. But yeah, incredible to be out here in the water and some in beautiful waves as well. It's quite, quite calm actually, as you can see from where we are and right over my shoulder there. If I clean this, maybe it's a bit blurred. And right over my shoulder there is the Stingler stack at the Cliffs of Moore as well. So yeah, incredible, incredible journey so far. I'm gonna head along now the coast as well here and uh, avoid the large waves, but definitely enjoy the scenery. <laughs> definitely avoid the water, Dan. Yeah, it's a lovely morning So we're at the base of the Cliffs of Moher now. As you can see, the sea stack is literally right above us. And man, what a freaking sight. Darren is having so much excitement here. Unreal. He's screaming. But uh, it's definitely something to be seen if you can get out here. Um, I'm absolutely mesmerized. I've been here a hundred times before and every time I come here, I'm still in awe of it, really, to be totally honest. But um, yeah, it's absolutely amazing. So Darren, we're gonna hit the cave soon enough. Are you excited? Yeah, boy! Bring it on. <laughs> I'm sorry, I apologize for him, he's from Cork. That explains it like. Oh, go on. <laughs> Bye. Alright, so let's jump back. Brave man, brave man.
<laughs> so we're here at High Tank. Uh, there's some amazing light as you can see just off here in the distance uh, on O'Brien's Tower and the Singler Sea Stack. But uh, I love coming to High Tank because there is all these caves and arches that you can fit to. But to be totally honest, it's a bit dodge right rough. now. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm going to catch it, but we will go around the back, in and around the back to see if they, we can get into the cave because it is a bit calmer sometimes in there. Look at that way up there. Yeah. <laughs> oh! So we've decided to park the ski onto some guy's boat. We'll go by a bit of grub, hopefully he doesn't come back and <laughs> leave our ski. Or else we're goosed. Yeah, we're goosed. We'll see. Let's motor on. So Darren is struggling with his wetsuit, so I might just give him a hand, yeah, as you can see here. Yeah, what time it is. <laughs> So we've landed on the... Uh, <laughs> they're the mad women in the Iron Islands anyway, these three. <laughs> I don't know, because you're funny. <laughs> mm. So good. White knuckle ride, boy. <laughs> Fucking cuts my hands in here. Yeah. Oh, that's so tight. So we've landed on the island of the Iron Islands and we are waiting for food in the Inishore Hotel. So we got a pint or two and uh, it was a really fun ride on the way over. We got to see some dolphins but unfortunately we didn't get any footage. They only lasted literally half a second. One of them literally sent straight up underneath the hull and uh, it was really really exciting. So we're going to get a bit of grub and uh, we'll probably head back to the mainland then. Made it back from the Iron Islands in one piece and I must say it was an incredible adventure, incredible uh, journey across the Atlantic. Some huge waves as well but we handled it well and we got back like I say, safe and sound. So uh, like I said earlier on actually, if you haven't subscribed to Dearman's new channel, it's Ireland's Atlantic Adventures. I've already left the link up here but I'll put a, an end card as well at the end of the video. Go, go back over and say hi to him and tell him you missed him. And um, yeah, from the beautiful Doolan in County Clare, thank you very much for joining this episode. Hope you've enjoyed coming along the journey. If it's your first time on the channel, please hit the subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment, and until the next time, Slonga Folk.